Hi, this is Lisa Crosby. I am going to do a quick test of the new Teams noise suppression feature. I have got a lovely Microsoft drink bottle here. This is a stainless steel drink bottle, which is quite noisy if I just tap with my fingers. So imagine I'm on a meeting and I'm, you know, tapping away. I'm trying to talk over that. That's pretty, pretty prominent background noise there. Let's just give it a tap on the desk. Whoa, there we go. Okay, that's not good. I am going to now go and change the settings to the new high noise suppression, which cuts out everything that's not voice. And let's see what difference it makes back shortly. So the way we change the setting is that you come into Teams and select your profile picture. And we go to settings and devices. And here it is here, noise suppression there. And all I need to do is choose high from that list. It starts off on the auto default. You'll see there there's also options to go for a, um, a low option or to switch it off completely. And it will stay with whatever setting you choose um, once you've chosen that for all future meetings. Uh, you can also change it in the context of the meeting itself under the device settings option. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm back and uh, here's my drink bottle again. Let's see how it goes. I just tap, tap, same noise that I was doing before. How's that? Can you even hear it? Maybe faintly. So I can go louder. Bang, bang it on the desk a bit. There you go. So that, that high noise reduction feature is awesome. If you are in a really noisy environment, that is going to help you an awful lot with being heard at the other end. It does take up a lot of system resources. I wouldn't have it on as a default. I'd uh, save it for when it's worth it, but that is, that is, uh, that's amazing. Enjoy.